Stanford University. Well, I think it's an important time to think about robotics in the law right now because robots are starting to leave um, contexts where we already figured out the liability that might happen if, if things go wrong. It's very difficult to parse out who's responsible for an injury involving a robot. Um, the idea is that these robots will be out there, will cause an injury, and people will overreact. And that might happen for a lot of reasons. Number one, manufacturers of robots are likely to have deeper pockets than the owners of them. Number two, often the early, because of the early uses of robotics tend to be in places like elder care or uh, working with autistic children, you'll have extremely sympathetic plaintiffs that might get injured um, in the short run. And my concern is that this will combine to make it really, really difficult for people to enter the robotics market. It'll stop uh, capital from flowing into the robotics market, and that roboticists themselves will severely limit the functionality of robots. You might want to immunize the manufacturer from up front because even though they might still prevail in court, they have to face the threat of litigation. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.